This exhibition showcases not only the best and the highlights of the Cartier Heritage Collection, but also includes loans from some of the most glamorous and important collectors and commissioners of Cartier bespoke pieces. It's taken well over two years to pull together the project, with many parties involved right across the world. The value of the works in the exhibition means that there's another level of coordination that's required that's quite distinct to a jewellery exhibition in particular. Cartier is a house of jewellery that was born in 1847. It was a family business and Louis Cartier had a vision and an ambition to create Cartier's own style. That was a revolution because no other house in the decorative arts world could pretend till that moment to work around a specific expression. So you can recognize all through the 20th century a Cartier creation as Louis Cartier wanted it, but at the same time you see the evolution in terms of creativity and how pioneering the Cartier creations were all through that century until today. I think of one tiara that belonged to the Townsend family, which shows the first use of platinum in the so-called garland style, but with a Cartier touch. That tiara is very important in the exhibition to show that aspect. And in 1975, for another piece, which is also without any equivalent, it's a necklace made of two crocodiles. They are made of yellow gold. One is totally paved with emeralds and the other one with yellow diamonds. They are totally flexible, totally articulated. This exhibition here at the NGA is one of the most important ones ever organized and for us it's an incredible opportunity to share with the Australian public what Cartier is about. When people come in to see the Cartier exhibition they will be completely transported to a different place and time. It is dazzling and it's quite an overwhelming and visceral experience that you have when you see them. I hope that people come away excited, uplifted and inspired.